Hi guys, welcome to this video. Uh, I'm going to show you how you can get the Mega Man Blaster in the original Dead Rising for Xbox 360. Um, this is probably going to be a bit easier to accomplish if you've already leveled up to the max. Uh, we're going to pick up a few weapons. And then we're going to head out through the warehouse into the mall. And the way you unlock the Mega Man Blaster is to uh, get one of the achievements in the game. It's the zombie um, genocide achievement, whereby you have to kill the entire town's population worth of zombies, which is about 53,000. So en route, let's just pick up a few weapons. You might need them. We're actually going to use them to kill the lion's share of the zombies, to pick up the orange juice as well. Um, we're actually going to use them as a contingency in case we get caught, and you'll see what I mean in a minute. Just pick up the submachine gun. And it's worth pointing out that in doing this, you're not going to be able to progress through the normal campaign, because this is going to take you a couple of hours to do, uh, during which time the main campaign uh, missions will fail. So let's just grab a couple of orange juices. Let's get rid of these baseball bats, we don't need those. And we're going to head out to the green area in the middle of the mall. And then about halfway between the entrance to the food court and the North Plaza is an entrance into the parking area. see it just over there. So head through that way. And what you'll find in the parking area is a, a motorbike and also a car. We're going to jump in the car and we're going to head down into the underground car park. And the underground car park is absolutely swarming with zombies, so head down there. And now all we're going to do is literally just mow zombies down for a couple of hours. Uh, head left when you come down the tunnel and follow all the way to the end. A big group like that, but uh, more importantly, you'll have a slightly better car because there's a van part down there, which is a bit more durable than the uh, convertible. So we'll drop into that and just have a bit of a tear around down here. One thing you've got to watch out for you just seen, I've hit a couple of uh, propane tanks, they will explode and they will damage the vehicle. Um, the van is pretty hardy, but it's not bulletproof zombie fruit. Um, so have a rest down here, whiz around, kill as many zombies as you can. There are other cars down here, the van is the most uh, durable of the lot and also it's worth noting that the vans and the, and the cars don't respawn down here. Uh, so what I tend to do is do one complete lap like that and then head back the way I came, back up the ramp into the open air car, from, uh, car park area pick up the, um, the camera layer again and then do the whole thing over and over and over. Um, and sometimes I'll tear around above ground if I get a bit bored because there are some zombies up there. 
Um, the weapons and the food are just in case the car does break down because you'll basically be stuck amongst huge piles of zombies uh, and you've basically got to leg it either to the exit or to one of the nearest vehicles. Um, so I find that the high damage weapons like the swords, the guns um, and the football um, are great just to have you at a tight spot. Um, I'll show you what I mean. Let me go down there. It's quite easy for the car to break down. Let's say the car breaks down here. We get out and we've got to walk all the way to the end and see where they've got bitten. So if we've got the footballs, give them a pump, knock down a fair few. You can pick them back up again, give it another pump, take a few more out, and you can just make your way through a bit easier. And likewise, the Uzi just makes things a bit easier, apart from when you hit a broken tank. just to get back to a vehicle and carry on. So there you have it guys, it will take you a couple of hours. Uh, you can see I've only hit 3200, but you can see how fast they pile up uh, when you do hit those propane canisters and when you hit large packs of zombies like that. Uh, when you hit 54,000, um, you long your achievement and the next time you start a game, you'll find that the Mega Man Blaster is in the safe area uh, of the mall where you start game in the security room. Um, you get the respawn every time you enter the room, providing you're not carrying one. Uh, you can only carry one at a time. Uh, so my advice would be if you're going into the security room and you're, only, uh, you're already carrying one, but you've only got a couple of rounds left in it, um, just drop it and then head back in and you'll be able to pick up the fresh one with 300 new rounds. Thanks for watching, guys.